apropos of nothing, stupidest thing I've ever done on my holidays, Bondi Beach in Australia. Went to visit, was looking at the lads on the surfboard, going, look at that, would you look at that, fizz, 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 fantastic, would you look, that is fantastic, which I can do, look how easy, they're standing on the board, this must be a doddle, I'm going to do this, I'm going to ma Went to the board rental area, picked out the largest board they had, ran to the water, with the music from Hawaii Five-0 <laughs> playing in my head. Got to go. It's amazing how quickly, with the addition of water, a surfboard turns into a bar of soap. Flum, flum. <laughs> Gone out of your hands. And then there's a moment of tension. Because when they wrench a surfboard, they strap it to your leg. <laughs> so when it goes, a second later, you go as well. So I picked up the board, hoping nobody spotted it. I ran back into the water again, right? Every time I tried it, thump, there would go. Then, choos, there it goes again. This went on for 20 minutes. It seems like a victimless crime, but the underside of a surfboard has three bloody razor blades stuck onto it. <laughs> for no reason other than to nick across your legs and cut you. <laughs> After 20 minutes, I looked like some weird emo chick. I had all these tiny <laughs> nicks and bruises. There was blood running down my legs, which is a bad thing to do in the waters of Australia beginning to lure sharks into Bondi Beach. <laughs> and like Angelina Jolie at the Oscars, one leg dangled, alluring the house. <laughs> Come on, smell this with your big nose, you know we're here, right? <laughs> at one stage, I ran to the water, mistimed it, so the wave front was about this height as I came at it, right? When that happens, let me give you a little tip. The most important thing is to lift the board over the wave or to break the wave underneath with the pointy end of the board. Don't do what I did. <laughs> which is hold the board up flat towards the edge. <laughs> in an effort to somehow deflect the Southern Ocean away from myself. <laughs> like a table tennis player, I'd just go, thunk, and the ocean would go, there you go. Right? I managed to harness the entire gravitational pull of the moon to my own head. <laughs> oh, Jesus! No! Oh, God! <laughs> As I'm recovering from this knock, I see a bloke, a surfer guy, with a board under his arm, laughing at me, and I'm going, you can't do that. That is bad etiquette in the surfing community, to laugh at the new guy. I'm going to, well, screw you, I'm going to master this. Look at you, I'm going to master you. I'm going to leap, I'm going to, and I leapt onto the board. I went, I've got you now, I've got Oh, Jesus, you're not as buoyant as you let on, that is. And then he goes sitting in the water with the wave just lapping in and out. <laughs> Looking at the rest of the surfing community going, how are you, lads? How are you, lads? Yeah, great, great. Great day in the waves, great day in the waves. A couple of good breakers out there at the moment. Might take a bit of a break myself because I'm a bit weak from the blood loss at this stage. <laughs> And I'm looking at your man, I don't want to go out, I don't want to leave the water, because he's there and he's in tears laughing at this stage. Just this guy just pointing at me and doubled over to go, oh, I've got to walk past you, right? And I pick up the board, I just walk past your man. And I do the only thing you can do in this situation is I just kind of go, oh, like that. <laughs> Which is a universal kind of, oh. And I vividly to this day remember, your man just looks at me and in the thickest accent I have ever heard in my life just goes, Ah, Jesus, Dara, we Irish are shite at surfing. <laughs> Hi, this is Dara Breen. This is my YouTube channel, so subscribe and like to get more funny clips.